Hello, my name is Madison and today I'm going to be reading a story called Ruby's Worry by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day, she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Oh no. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger. Just a little one here. Mm. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box and it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. Mm. Ruby's running out of space. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Oh, the worry's starting to take up so much space. It's making it very hard for her. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time and it filled up half of the school bus. Oh my goodness, poor Ruby. and it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Mm. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked, he looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? Look. It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. Look, that's Ruby's teacher. And two people from her class as well. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. <gasps> it's getting smaller. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon both of their worries were gone. <gasps> Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. It's Ruby's Worry by Tom Percival. This is a really great story because it, um, it's Ruby realizing 
that she's not alone and that everyone feels sad or having they have a difficult time sometimes. If you feel worried or sad, you can um, talk to someone. If you have a friend like Ruby found, or maybe there's an adult in your life that you trust, like maybe a teacher or one of your parents or a school counselor. If you don't feel like you can talk to anyone um, that you're close to, there's in Australia, there's a thing called the Kids Helpline. You can call them any time of day or night. Um, the phone number is 1-800-551-800. And you can talk to someone there and um, maybe they'll be able to help you work through what's going on. And it just really helps to talk about things. Um, so if you need to come back to this video, hopefully it'll make you feel better. Um, Ruby's Worry by Tom Percival. Thanks.